Welcome back to Up in Flames. No matter how you get around, the defects that can lead to car fires put everyone on the road at risk. According to Carfax, over 3 million vehicles on the roads in Florida are under a recall. That's about one in every five cars, and it's the highest in the nation. Here in the Tampa area, over three quarters of a million vehicles out there need recall work. Last year, I went undercover and found this happening locally, and it's perfectly legal. We went on a hunt. They were looking for a Kia Soul. Our target? 267. Used cars for sale with a dangerous defect. There should be two Hyundai Sonatas and two Kia Souls with open recalls at this lot. In just a few hours, over the course of two days. This one is it. We discovered a dozen used Kia and Hyundai vehicles for sale on local lots, flagged for fire risks. In fact, according to this Carfax database obtained by the I-Team, nearly 200 Kia and Hyundais under recalls were listed for sale in Tampa Bay in just a two-week period. The key on fire. My scariest part was trying to figure out how long I had to get out of the car. Dorian Bell bought this used Kia Soul in 2018, but she had no idea it was under recall until it caught fire. When I actually started seeing the fire come from out of the floorboard, that's when I started to panic. I hit the brakes, but I, my brake pedal went all the way to the floor. She pulled the emergency brake, steered into this St. Pete parking lot, and jumped out. My front windshield completely uh, shattered and the fire just started pouring in. Seconds after you got out. We checked and uncovered Kia recalled her 2012 Soul in February 2019 because of engine fire risk. Why wasn't I notified? I reached out to Kia and the automaker told us it sent Dari on a recall notice April 12, 2019, but the letter was returned as undeliverable. The St. Pete mom says that's not good enough. It didn't hit me until after the fact, because like I said, I was just such just in a shock of what was going on. Automakers must mail recall notices to car owners within 60 days, but the I team uncovered federal regulators don't check up on whether that's happening unless someone makes a complaint. The I team also uncovered there's no federal law requiring used car dealers to fix recalls or warn buyers before the sale, even when there's a known fire risk. A car is not supposed to just burst into flames, so that, of course, is a serious concern. Experts recommend you take the extra steps before buying any used vehicle. Check the automaker's website, Carfax and SaferCar.gov. You can run the VIN numbers to check for open recalls for free. I promise to stay on top of any updates to this story, including future recalls and the status of that $760 million settlement. You can see all the reporting we've done and all the recalls so far on this special section of our website, abcactionnews.com slash carfires. Plus, watch all of our investigations on our free streaming apps on Roku, Fire TV and Apple TV. Again, this story first came to us from a single viewer tip. So please contact the I team. We welcome your tips, whether they're related to this issue or not. And on behalf of our ABC Action News I team, thank you for joining us for this special report.